Premiere Pro is a professional video editing software many editors use for their work. However, there are times when the file may not be compatible with the software, which can cause problems. As you can see, Premiere Pro says the file has an unsupported compression type. This is a common issue and mostly occurs due to the incorrect file format or codec. Let's try to fix this. When you see an error, the file has an unsupported compression type. First thing you need to do is check the media cache and the media cache database in Premiere Pro. Open the Premiere Pro, navigate to edit, and then go to very bottom at preferences and click on media and cache. Here just remove the media cache files. Click on delete button and you are done. Another way to deal with this error is change the file extension. Before importing the video file, try to change the default file extension to something else. If it's still not working for you, let's try an effective fix. Right-click on video and open with Film and TV, the Windows default media player. Here click on pencil icon and then click on trim. Now all you have to do just sacrifice your one second from your video file to complete the video trim process. Trim one second video and save it as new media file. It will take some time depending upon your video size and duration. It will take some time, depending upon your video size and duration. Watch this video till the end, because the last fix is still there to solve this error. Without any video seconds cut, you will be able to repair this video file. Keep watching. So, here is new fresh file, let's try to import. It's working. If you can afford to cut one second, try this method. But if you don't want to trim your video and want to fix this, let's try this final fix. There is tool called Handbrake. It can also help you. Just download and install this free tool. Open Handbrake and import your video. Here click on Video tab, and you will see different things. Set quality to lossless, as we are not compressing this video. After doing this, just click on Start. After completing the process, Handbrake will give you a new video file to use in Premiere Pro.